What's up anglers and anglets? It's your boy Sven and welcome back to my channel. This spot looks so amazing. It honestly doesn't even need an introduction. It's just going to be some rock fishing or I guess a mini cliff fishing, if you will. But just look at how amazing everything is. Beautiful, beautiful waters. Lots of structure. Structure means there's fish around. Fish like to hide around structure. It is a little sketchy to try to fish around structure like this, followed by all the waves splashing. So if you're going to do so, bring a heavy weight, maybe a heavy torpedo. I'm going to use a heavy three ounce disc, mainly to try to keep my stuff in place. I'm going to use the Akuma Nomad Express. I have it paired with the Daiwa BG4500. I'm going to have it set up as a bait and weight, and I'm going to toss it out. Not too far. I'll probably just chuck it out like right there to begin with a good 15 20 feet away from me there's a lot of structure so i'm not super worried about where to cast i just want to be careful not to cast and snag myself into a rock i'm gonna put a little piece of shrimp because shrimp is one of my favorite baits and we'll see if we catch anything so stay tuned all right tiny piece of shrimp size six hook three ounce disc sinker to try to keep it in place i think if i cast right there i'll be just fine as long as i reel up fast and quick so let's just do that and see if we get any nibbles. Let's try right here. It looks nice and calm. Nice little cubby right here. I also want to stress right now, and this is very important. So if you guys are fishing in a setting like this, on top of rocks, on top of cliffs, or on top of anything where you could potentially fall and hurt yourself, even like a jetty, you always want to be very careful. Watch your footing before you do anything else. Watch where you're stepping. Make sure you're on solid ground before you toss throw hop around or do anything it's very important we joke around a lot on this channel here and there but it's very important so please 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 be very careful when you guys fish in these settings i'm not trying to encourage people to fish spots like this but if you do be very careful what the heck whoa what are you black surf perch look at how big he is pretty solid it's a black surf perch this guy looks like he's about maybe a one and a half pounder probably less i'm not sure sure how good the scale is you guys want to see something cool what do i got a little tape measure it's not going to be super exact but it'll give me a rough idea of how big this guy is so from there to there oh wow he's about 12 inches maybe I'm gonna say about 11 inches just to be safe because this isn't an exact way to measure, but neat. And this little keychain, my friends sent Amber and I a little tiny care package, and it's awesome and I love it. And it's just so funny because look. Boop, 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 boop. All right, gonna let this guy go. This is my first fish. It's gonna be really careful where I step. Always watch your footing. Thanks for playing, Mr. Surf Perch. Woo! Nice. There we go. That was a nice fish. I moved spots just a little bit. Here's a nice little cove and cubby. I feel like there's gonna be a lot more surf perch chilling in here anyways. Let's just go ahead and cast out. Put a little piece of shrimp, good old reliable bait and weights. And let's see, where do I wanna cast it? Now, another important safety tip when you are walking on rocks see these little barnacles these are good to step on always double check your footing make sure you got a little good traction before you walk anywhere especially down this low sometimes these rocks aren't just covered with barnacles sometimes they're covered with slippery somewhat slippery algae like this so you want to be careful stepping on stuff all right that's time to check this one whoa whoa whoa, whoa. maybe oh cool nice <laughs> a little tiny dinky boy this one is a tiny dinky striped surf perch. I need to get those little tiny mini uh, lip grippers. All right, let's see. What's a good point to put them down? Actually, I do you want to measure them just to see how dinky? Let me see if I can show you guys. Rough estimate. This is not that perfect, but rough estimate. He's about seven and a half. Really dinky striped surf perch. See you later, little guy. Thanks for playing. Boop. There he goes. Ooh, bait and weight is doing really good right now. That's two fish on the shrimp, size six hook. Toss it into some rocky structure and let it sit. Now I can always get super fancy schmancy with lures and jigs and all that stuff, but I swear by the end of the day, the one fishing that I will always like and rely on is some good old fashioned bait and weights. 
All right, let's check this one again really quick. Might need to rebate it, so let's see. Oh, whoa, whoa, never mind. Oh, there's something, all right. Nice. Oh, this is a chunky one. Another black surf perch. Heck yeah. This guy is a chunky one. Nice. Barely hooked. Hooked well, but barely, barely hooked. I'm gonna put the rod down. Oh look, nice little bird. A little yellow bird. I wonder what bird that is. All right, I'm distracting myself. I gotta get the fish back. All right, looks like this guy is about, also about one, maybe one and a half pounds. Like I said, the scale is good, but it's not like, super exact, and I'm not really good at reading it, just for my sake. Wow, okay, this guy is, it's not exact or perfect, but this guy is roughly 12 inches. All right, let's get him back. See you later, chonky surf perch boy. Thanks for playing. Boop. Ooh, that was a big splash. When you're fishing anywhere else and you catch a nice surf perch, eight inches, give or take, you fish in Monterey, you catch a 12 inch surf perch and that's basically the average. And it's awesome. All right, let's uh, rebait the bait and weight. Bait and weight's working really well. I'm gonna just keep that up. Good old reliable shrimp, never failed me. Let's go. I think I just noticed a tiny little Ziploc bag just lodged into this crevice. Yeah, a little tiny one. I'll take that with me. Pick up your trash, people. There we go. Let's just put it right there. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Nice, I knew it. There we go. A dinky-ish little striped surf perch, but hey, I'll take it. This is my fourth total ever striped surf perch. I'm not gonna bother measuring him. I'm just gonna toss him back. There you go. Nice little dinky fish. Well, pretty good for a dinky fish. All right, thank you, Mr. Striped Surf Perch. Thanks for playing. Boop. The nice neat thing about little tiny tide pools like this, you just wash your hands from all the little shrimp guts. All right, it's starting to get pretty dark. I just want to land one more fish and I'm going to call it. So hopefully this is the cast. I'm going to call it. It's getting too dark, getting a little cold, and I know you guys probably can't see anything. So to help you out, these are my moods. Super fun day of fishing. Caught really, really nice sized ones. Caught two small sized ones, but it's all good. Thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. And even though I'm, I'm talking blankly right now and you guys can't see anything, hope that this was something that was interesting. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.